Yo, what is going on guys? We are here, back, for another poorly lit, inside the vehicle, in the vehicle, impromptu video, and uh, I don't know, it's probably better for y'all that you can't see my face because I'm hideous, but then at the same time my voice isn't much better, I don't know. But anyway, what are we talking about today on the ride home from work? Uh, this one actually might even be posted in real time. It's about 8.44 as we're recording this, and uh, we'll see when we post it. Probably going to post it tonight, whatever. I don't think I posted a video today, and I usually do. But anyway, what I wanted to talk to you guys about is we are starting to see, all right, everything, scamdemic, mostly peaceful protesting, completely and totally fair, non-rigged election for the past two years, guns, ammo, any and all varieties, super, super hard to come by, right? Right. Um, starting to come back a little bit, starting to come back a little bit, little by little. Prices are starting to go down little by little. Remember, like that, at quite literally the drop of a hat, uh, prices could skyrocket again. Supply can be gone overnight. Uh, same thing goes for your, you know, your food and your water and all that stuff. You got the grocery store, you got your little Costco membership, whatever. And most stores only have three days, a week's tops worth of supplies in them. And in a panic situation, uh, that'll be gone overnight. So still, I will recommend people um, you know, beans, bullets, band-aids, prepping, all that stuff. But as far as the ammo goes, uh, you should still be a great strategy is still to buy what you can a week or every time you get paid. Every time you get paid, you got a couple extra bucks instead of wasting it on, you know, energy drinks or coffee or frivolous things, snacks that aren't good for you anyway, whatever it is, take that couple of bucks and cobble it together and go get a box of 223, 556, 9 mil, 45, whatever you need, 12 gauge, something, or get a, get a spare magazine, get a whatever you need, little by little, the stuff adds up and before you know it, you're gonna be sitting on a heaping pile of uh, guns and gun accessories um, and hopefully ammo too. But so what, what we're talking about is here at the shop, um, you know, the ammo is starting to come back a little, but it's still not the best. Uh, it's still not anywhere close to what it used to be as far as pricing and availability. And then on top of that, um, you know, anything could happen at any moment. And that goes for any of this Second Amendment stuff, you know, the guns, the ammo, the gear, whatever, it could be banned overnight. Uh, there could be a shortage, imports, you know, can be held up, whatever it is. So the, the moral to the story is even though stuff is coming back or seeming to come back or seeming to come down in price, um, but you know, oh, it'll drop further, it'll drop, you just take it like uh, cryptocurrency or even stocks and stuff like that. Cost average into it, okay? You're, we're dipping, right? We're dipping right now, buy the dip. So there's a little bit of price decrease, there's a little bit more availability. You don't know, buy a couple boxes. You don't gotta go buy 10,000 rounds just because it's three cents cheaper a round. Um, but, you know, maybe buy a case or maybe buy, you know, a few boxes or whatever, even if it's just one box. And then maybe if it goes down a little bit more, buy some more. Or if it goes up, now you bought the one at the cheaper price. So, you know, it's just cost average yourself in. Again, the same thing, buying weekly, buy weekly, whenever you get paid. Uh, whenever you have a couple extra bucks, you can do like I do. I got an old Folgers coffee can and I throw all my change in there. And then after it gets full, then I go cash it in. And then that's my gun money or my ammo money or whatever. And it's money that I typically wouldn't have normally had. I would have spent it on something. I would have lost it. I would have, whatever. You know, if you got it in your pocket, you're going to spend it. And, uh, you know, that's a good, easy way. Plus, supposedly the coin shortage. Oh, my goodness. Um, I don't know if they've ever resolved that. But I got plenty of coins. You know, I, I think the coins are cool. You know, at least they're metal. Uh, got to be worth something. Something more than this bullshit fiat paper dollar that we have. Although, I suppose the coins are fiat too. But they still have some value in different use case. But either way, moral to the story. Rambling and ranting uh, per usual is ammo starting to become more available you didn't stock up before, or maybe you're new to this, but if you haven't learned your lesson about buying it cheap and stacking it deep, it paying to be a prepper, you know, do it now, okay? So if you couldn't get ammo 
and it sucked. And, you know, because you didn't keep any on hand. Oh, I got a box of freaking 25 holler heads that I keep in my little single stack carry gun. And I got a couple left in the box. And uh, that's all I need. That's my ammo. You know, that's what I'm using it for. And, you know, but no, you should have ammo. You got to go to the range. You got to train. You got to practice. You want to shoot for fun, whatever it is. You want to teach somebody new, which you should be making a point to get out there and get more people into the 2A community, the 2A culture. Uh, make it a point for a New Year's resolution or at least one of them to get more, introduce more people into the Second Amendment. That's always a good thing. You can also reference the first three links in the description box below of any single one of my videos. Um, but anyway, besides the point, you couldn't get the ammo, you didn't have the ammo, you didn't have the foresight, you weren't prepping, you weren't stocking up, you wouldn't, and it's not even got to be that serious. It's literally, you should have, even if you're a casual gun owner and you shoot once a year, and you don't take it seriously, you're not all about it, it's not really like your your thing, you have one because you also have a fire extinguisher and you got the one gun and whatever. You should still probably have at least 250 to 500 rounds minimum for that firearm, a couple extra magazines if it takes magazines, you know, whatever support equipment you need for that gun. Um, and that's if you just got one gun and you're not even a gun person. Uh, you should still have that stuff. And on top of that, the people that are gun people or think they're gun people, you know, oh, it's got one magazine that came with it in the box. And then, oh, geez, I knew that was going to happen. That always happens. <laughs> that one always happens. But anyway, uh, that's just how it goes. I see so many people working in the gun shop that now, even while ammo is coming back available, and it is decreasing in price. Hey, you want to take a box home? You need a box of ammo, whatever it is. Uh, no, no, I got a box at home. Or, oh, you know, I only shoot it when I'm here. So, you know, my my 25 round, uh, you know, whatever, hollow points, uh, it's good enough for me or what I like. No, dude, no. Buy it cheap, stack it deep. Buy it now. Uh, you know, you don't need to panic buy or go overboard or do any stuff like that. But you should be cost averaging, you know, it's a constant cost. Ammo, if you're a gun person, ammo is a constant cost. It's like gas in your vehicle. Uh, you're always going to need to have it on hand. You're always going to need to use it. It's always going to be need to load it. It's always going to be needed to be loaded into your guns for them to work. You know, your car don't drive without gas. Your guns don't shoot without bullets. Um, so anyway, either way, you know, it's, it's an important thing. And if you haven't learned your lesson from not preparing, not having enough ammo on hand the first time around, and at any minute knowing that it could happen again, even if you are brand new to this, you're brand new to this and you didn't know any better and you see how difficult it is, it still is and definitely was to get guns that you needed, ammo that you needed, maybe parts and accessories, whatever. The whole industry has been affected. Start stocking up. Little by little, a box, even if it's a box of paycheck, a box of ammo, you know, a box or this paycheck, I got a couple bucks, I'm going to get a box of nine. The next paycheck, I'm going to get some 12 gauge. Maybe the next paycheck, I get some 762 by 39. Whatever it is that you need, little by little, it doesn't hurt the pocketbook nearly as bad because it's just tiny little chunks. And before you know it, it, it does add up and you will have a good amount of ammo and it doesn't hurt you financially. It, it's, it's easier to you know, accept that, especially a lot of people, money is tight. Money's real tight for a lot of people. So, you know, you still want something. 20 bullets are better than no bullets. You know, 100 bullets are better than no bullets, whatever, you know, you, and don't stop. There's no such thing as enough, in my opinion, when it comes to either guns and or ammo. But of course, ammo, because uh, you got to feed those guns. So, try anyway i'm ranting it's a freaking nine minute video at this point just to tell you guys uh that start you know if you haven't learned if you don't know if you're new to this uh ammo is becoming a little bit more available it is dropping a little bit in price don't wait to buy it thinking it's going to be cheaper because it might not uh don't buy it now or don't not buy it now because you still think it's too expensive or whatever um Buy some, buy some, whatever you need, always be buying it. Even if it's a little, obviously don't get price gouged, uh, shop around, do some research, whatever, but you should be constantly investing into ammo stores, especially if you have multiple calibers, you know, however you want to do it, but you should have me a bare minimum, bare minimum. And this is the bare, bare necessities, absolute bare minimum 
for me that I feel comfortable with is a thousand rounds per caliber and I think that's absolutely running on fumes okay um, realistically it should be a thousand rounds per gun that you have in that caliber bare minimum but you can only in theory shoot two of them at a time and so a thousand rounds between one or two guns and obviously just one gun you know we're not we're not running around akimbo saying call of duty um, although I'm actually rather good at shooting guns akimbo. It's a weird thing. I have like a natural talent for it It's the least practical thing, but it does look cool on video but Either way besides the point nonetheless and regardless I do digress indeed indubitably one might say um, Buy some ammo buy some gear buy some extra mags. There was just a Black Friday sale going on Obviously, you hopefully you guys spent some some money in good places and things you needed make sure you stock up on your medical uh, If you guys do want to support the channel, there's awesome Ways to do that in the link tree uh, Also pin stuff in the comment section If you guys see me post a link or pin a link in the comment section click on it I don't title it because uh, I'm trying to avoid the anti-gun YouTube algorithms as it were but there's always something cool down there. It's stuff that we're all going to be buying normally as gun guys and gals. Um, and, and it helps out the channel. So never expected. Always, always very much so appreciated. And uh, there's, a, there's a whole bunch of options and stuff. But either way, what you should be buying is ammo and mags. If you are using semi-automatic firearms. If you have a Glock 19 and it's a Gen 4, Gen 5, came with three mags. You should have at least 10 mags, my opinion. Uh, for each gun that you own that takes mags obviously if you got a revolver you should have some speed loaders some speed strips Whatever whatever floats your boat uh, different stuff just invest in yourself invest in your gear invest in training if you do have the guns and the ammo Go take a class, you know if you've got ammo to spare even though it's an ammo crunch buy some separate ammo now um and just chalk it up as what it is and go take a class if you can afford it. There's a bunch of classes going on. Uh, there is a lot more availability than normal because of ammo prices. People don't want to go take classes. They're not shooting. You, it's a perishable skill. Get out there and train. Get out there and practice. But you obviously need ammo for that. So again, moral of the story, buy it when you can, as much as you can. But even if it's just a box or two a week, you know, or every time you get paid, it adds up. Don't forget, it's the same thing. Every Your wife's at the grocery store, you're at the grocery store, whatever. Get an extra can of beans, get an extra bag of rice, get an extra something little, put it to the side for a rainy day. Because there's always going to be highs, there's always going to be lows, and nobody ever really knows. But you might as well have some shit in case the shit blows, okay? When it hits the fan, you're going to need some supplies. You're going to need to know how to use those supplies, those tools. You're going to need to know how to cook. You're going to need to know how to start a fire, whatever. So things in the world are getting pretty bad have been for a while and i know i'm digressing even further and ranting even more but hopefully somebody's still around watching this and hopefully they need to hear it um but it's very important very important if you are a new gun owner if you're whatever understand why you bought that gun and understand why you need to protect that gun because it protects you the second amendment is the most important check the first three links in the description box below that's an easy way to get started i get nothing for it uh, I just uh, respect those those organizations. FPC is my favorite. Um, there are truly no compromise on the Second Amendment, and that's what we need. Okay, learn how to use that gun. Get as many you know rounds of ammunition as you can for that gun. Um, wh whatever you need, whatever you need, and and take a class if you are new to this. Take a class. Yeah, I don't think you need to take a class. I don't think anything's mandatory. You can learn a lot of stuff for free on YouTube, but you need to go, then go out and practice it, but not only practice it, practice it properly, because you can practice things the wrong way and then have, actually give yourself a training scar, or, or at the end of the day, either way, it's a waste of time. But be prepared. This is not, you, you went out and bought the gun because, oh, the city was getting burnt down and you just want to protect you and your family. It's bigger than that. It's worse than that. And realistically, for a situation like that, they're burning the city down. You probably need an AR-15. And what you went out and bought was a little tiny single stack concealed carry pistol. Good pistol, good shotgun, good rifle. You can kill anything that walks, crawls, or flies on North America and pretty much all over the globe. Um, all over the world. We don't know. It might be flat. Who knows? <laughs> Either way, I wouldn't put it past them. Galdane government. But anyway... I'm just saying, 
I see a lot of people still to this day thinking it is sweet. I keep telling them it's not sweet. It ain't sweet, bruh, bruh. You should probably get that extra box of ammo now because it might not be there when you come back for it. You probably have a couple extra mags. Oh, I got a mag or two. You're going to be thumbing them in there in the middle of a gunfight, reloading those two measly mags that you brought because they're the only ones that you had when they're 10, 15 bucks a piece. You know, maybe 20, 30 bucks you're talking about a Glock, but whatever it is, you know, get what you need. Get it now while you can afford it. Get it now while it's a little bit cheaper. Yeah, it might be cheaper in the future. Buy even more then. Okay, people think about it. It's it's really not sweet. It's really not. There are unfortunately dark days ahead. Uh, darker and darker. And look look how bad it is now. Look where we're at now. Vaccine mandates, vaccine passports. Let me see the papers, yeah. The papers, your papers do not appear to be an order to the gulags for you, yeah. No, dude. Although I know that's Russian and German. Makes Russian gulags and the German Nazis and all that shit. You're going straight to the box cars, yeah. Yeah. That's where we're at, people. Because we the people have become too soft and complacent to give a damn and not do anything about it. And we're going to uh, have to do something about it eventually. So you might want to have the supplies and the skills and the knowledge and the heart and uh, all those things that you need to be able to do it. Anyway, pulling up to the spot and we're dipping out. Check the links in the description box below, especially the first three. Thank you for watching and go buy some ammo, go get some training, go do some, this is just a random rant, but I just, I've seen so many people in today just alone uh, pass on ammo. But I've seen those same people before complain about the price of ammo, and now it's cheaper. Maybe not by much, but it's cheaper. Um, it's available. You can actually get it. They say the place by them sells it for 50, 60 bucks. And well, I'm like, you're here, bro. We sell it for half that, less than half that. You want a box? You want a couple boxes? Nah, I'll get it next time. Next time may never come. Who knows? Anyway, I'm done ranting spewing all this crazy radicalized nonsense in your guys' ears and uh, appreciate you guys being here appreciate you watching and we'll catch you on the next one peace